great to meet you, Noah and Shahar, playing uh, Simon Peter and uh, Andrew on the show. Now, as brothers, John, uh, John and James have, you know, their sibling rivalry is acted out. Forget you know, about it, them. Don't mention, are, who are don't they? mention their names. Who are they? <laughs> what about you two? What about the, is there a rivalry the between brothers. the brothers? No, yeah. our rivalry is with anyone outside of ourselves, right? We know. Yeah. Uh, we know who the best brothers on the show is. It's like not even a I don't think we even need to mention even that there no. is. Yeah, we don't know of another sort of really group of brothers. So there's not right. rivalry between you two, but no. between you Nothing two no, and them no. two. Unconditional yeah. support. Yes, yeah. yeah. their support. rivalry implies that there's some sort of level playing field yeah. of which there his really success isn't, is my success. You know? My success yes. is his success. We both there. We can pick each other. You but, can pick me. But rivalry outside yeah. of us, it's like who with who? Yeah. I spoke to um, both uh, jo uh, George, who plays John, and uh, um, Allah, who plays Z, and they talked about the journey that their characters were on. Z said, I'm the, I'm the apostle who asks why all the time, and John mm. talks about his journey from son of thunder to beloved, you know, at the end of the mm. series. What journey are both of your guys on? It's funny that they think they have a journey. Yeah. <laughs> they love it. No, but, uh, <laughs> Yeah, we, for me it starts, um, yeah, the rough place. We start the uh, series one, we start in an incredibly rough moment, not uh, having any solutions to my uh, situation, trying to find which other creative way I can in order to bring things back, uh, you know, save my life. And, uh, and yeah, that's carried through until uh, resolved at the end of series one. S uh, series two, the struggle with uh, joining the joining of Matthew to the group is something that causes a lot of friction and is kind of riding throughout and giving that go, which you maybe saw yesterday, kind of that uh, release coming out. And, uh, and yeah, in series three, um, you know, the, the story with Eden and where that leads me to. So up until now, it was breaking a lot of shackles and and now um starting to become more mature and more of a leadership uh, position and uh taking care of others and not just uh, about myself so that's where it's going in that direction more empathy more love more compassion so it's a hard hand <laughs> to becoming the rock in yeah, fact. yeah yeah that's right no what about you what's andrew's journey yeah i think that um you know it is really funny. We were talking about it earlier that the idea that when and actually the very first scene we ever filmed was me running in saying, I've just seen the Messiah and, you know, all of your problems, everything that you're worried about, nothing matters anymore. He's here. But it, it takes a lot of uh, teaching moments for Andrew to realize that um, not all problems go away. It's not just an easy uh, band aid on on uh, on the problem. And so we see Andrew really grow up. And sort of lose a little bit, of the, a little bit of the uh, naivete, and 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 realize that walking the walk and and walking the walk of what Jesus' teachings are is quite difficult. Uh, it is a hard life to to live, and he just wants to do his absolute best to live that life, to support the group, um, help give the message out uh, to everyone who will hear it, and you see the rough patches along the way. But he's getting better. And you go to some dark places at the start of season yeah. four. You're, you're grieving. How do you go there as an actor? How do you find that, that place of grief? Tell us our secrets. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. What I was thinking about was, no, but um, we, uh, you know, we've now been on the show for a few years. And so it mixes, you know, the, the characters and the people that we are. And so when you're looking at someone, you know, like when I look at Shahar, I'm seeing Shahar and Simon. Mm -hmm. And you can't get away from that. And so that deepens everything. The entire well just goes deeper and deeper because if something bad happens to him, it's it's really as if it's happening in real life sometimes. Mm -hmm. And so I think that's such a gift to be on a show like this for so long because it's sometimes right there on the surface for you. Shaha, there's a beautiful moment in the first episode of uh, uh, season four. I won't give uh -huh. it away, but it's your moment uh -huh. of epiphany. Yeah. Andrew got there first, but you know, never mind, you catch up. Uh -huh. But there, it, it looks like you're sort of seeing this truth come on him in, in real time. Yeah. Was that a moment when you were filming it, or is it just you're a great actor, you'd rehearsed every flicker on your face? How did it come to you, that moment? I'm a great actor, I rehearsed every flicker <laughs> on my face. No, <laughs> Uh, you know, uh, it, the, that was the day was quite, uh, it was quite a day. We were um, in 
the in the Utah and that uh, uh, kind of canyon kind of thing. So it was the beautiful thing about these things is that the sets and the scenery we are on location pretty much the whole time. It really it's it's really strange how it's all coming together. Like it's it's a it's a it's a player in the show. You know, it's an actor. The the set. Sometimes the heat, sometimes the dust. It's a, it's an actor in the show, and so you know preparing is nice idea, and you do a lot of preparation. But at the end of the day, when you get there, and the elements and everything that's going on, and the smoke, and it 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 throws you into a world, and then I find it to be surprised by what comes out. You know what I mean? And sometimes even between the two, I find that to be really surprising. Every time it's. Well, it's not you know not what you imagined uh, when you necessarily read it because you're there and everything's happening. You know, yeah. One thing I wanted to ask you, in particular Shahar, as mm -hmm. well, is one thing that the Chosen does so well is that it reminds us that Jesus and the disciples were, were Jews. The prayers, the festivals, yeah. the lifestyle is woven in. Yeah, I know that's your heritage as well. How does that feel for you? Does that mean something special for you? Yeah, totally. totally. It feels close to home, you know. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's uh, I, it's. Um, Look, this this show, what it's trying to do, it's trying to show as as much of a truthful portrayal of how these people live. You know what I mean? And that's uh, obviously that's a huge part of it. You know, and so uh, so all the things that we do, it yeah, it's it's all getting us closer to trying to give that kind of snapshot of what a day in their lives would have been. And uh, yeah, it's very nice. It's very, very feels familiar and very nice. You know. The Chosen is not like other shows, is it? Uh, you're, you're inhabiting these characters in a new way, and the response from viewers and fans is incredible, isn't it? People literally saying that what you're doing there is, is changing their lives. Yeah. How does that feel for both of you, and has there been a particular story that's touched you? Yeah. We get messages all the time, and the fact that we're able to bring our art and what we do to people globally, and the fact that it, it does impact them, and that they say, you know, I get messages. The ones that really speak to me is just when someone says I'm going through a difficult moment or I have a family member um, in the hospital right now or some anything like that you just it, it's with disbelief that that we are a part of a show that can help someone in a moment like that that can help brighten their day even a little bit um, I'm so grateful that that we get to be <laughs> on something that that mm -hmm. helps people really because otherwise it could be just entertainment or it could be something that people put on in the background but no i mean people really connect to it and it's very special Shana? yeah it's pretty incredible how the you know you're you're putting the output right and you don't know how it's reading you and i think what i find very fascinating is how it each reaction can be so vastly different how each person finds another angle of the character that you are, uh, you, you can't even, you know, that's the beauty, you don't have a control in it. So it's all, I think the, the, the key here is like how surprising it is, how it's coming from all different direction and meets people in so many different places, you know? So that's quite, uh, quite incredible. And I try not to, you know, I don't want to just leave the, you know, leave the il illusion a little bit and allow them to, you know what I mean, to, to, to translate it in whichever way they, I don't think, want, do. You know what I mean? These things are kind of, they're not in control. You don't control how something impacts you. So I kind of, I, that's, uh, that's incredible how you put it and it meets people in different ways. And uh, yeah, yeah, it's very, it's a pretty incredible fan uh, base that this show has Pre pretty incredibly positive and it w it, it's just incredible yeah the love that you get uh, is yeah something that uh, we are very grateful for right yeah well we're very grateful to you thank you for your yes. time great to meet you both thank you God bless you thank season four. you